the spirit of revelation typically functions as thoughts and feelings that come into our minds and hearts by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the scriptures, the influence of the Holy Ghost frequently is described as a still, small voice and a voice of perfect mildness. Because the Spirit whispers to us gently and delicately, it is easy to understand why we should shun inappropriate media, pornography, and harmful addictive substances and behaviors. These tools of the adversary can impair and eventually destroy our capacity to recognize and respond to the subtle messages from God delivered by the power of His Spirit. Revelations are conveyed in a variety of ways, including, for example, dreams, visions, conversations with heavenly messengers, and inspiration. Some revelations are received immediately and intensely. Some are recognized gradually and subtly. A light turned on in a dark room is like receiving a message from God quickly, completely, and all at once. Many of us have experienced this pattern of revelation as we have been given answers to sincere prayers or been provided with needed direction and protection according to God's will and timing. Descriptions of such immediate and intense manifestations are found in the scriptures, recounted in church history, and evidenced in our own lives. Indeed, these mighty miracles do occur. However, this pattern of revelation tends to be more rare than common. The gradual increase of light radiating from the rising sun is like receiving a message from God line upon line, precept upon precept. Most frequently, revelation comes in small increments over time and is granted according to our desire, worthiness, and preparation. Such communications from Heavenly Father gradually and gently distill upon our souls as the dews from heaven. This pattern of revelation tends to be more common than rare. We, as members of the Church, tend to emphasize marvelous and dramatic spiritual manifestations so much that we may fail to appreciate and even overlook the customary pattern by which the Holy Ghost accomplishes His work. The very simpleness of the way of receiving small and incremental spiritual impressions may cause us to look beyond the mark. Another common experience with light helps us learn an additional truth about the line-upon-line, precept-upon-precept pattern of revelation. Sometimes the sun rises on a morning that is cloudy or foggy. Because of the overcast conditions, perceiving the light is more difficult, and identifying the precise moment when the sun rises over the horizon is not possible. But on such a morning, we nonetheless have sufficient light to recognize a new day and to conduct our affairs. In a similar way, we many times receive revelation without recognizing precisely how or when we are receiving revelation. In many of the uncertainties and challenges we encounter in our lives, God requires us to do our best to act and not be acted upon and to trust in Him. We may not see angels, hear heavenly voices, or receive overwhelming spiritual impressions. We may frequently press forward hoping and praying, but without absolute assurance that we are acting in accordance with God's will. But as we honor our covenants and keep the commandments, as we strive ever more consistently to do good and to become better, we can walk with the confidence that God will guide our steps, and we can speak with the assurance that God will inspire our utterances. As you appropriately seek for and apply unto the spirit of revelation, I promise you will walk in the light of the Lord. Sometimes the spirit of revelation will operate immediately and intensely, other times subtly and gradually, 
and often so delicately you may not even consciously recognize it. But regardless of the pattern whereby this blessing is received, the light it provides will illuminate and enlarge your soul, enlighten your understanding, and direct and protect you and your family.